Hey, welcome back. 2018 Feel Good Fridays. I know it's not Friday, it's actually Saturday here, so I'm a little bit late in putting this recording together, but all the same, they've got seven plays which are really going to knock your socks off across the last um, seven days. Um, sit back, enjoy, get ready, here it comes. Seven. Okay, number seven goes to the Chill Out Corner. I put this tweet up earlier in the week, and it was a program that I saw on Facebook and I really loved. I thought it connected beautifully with what I was trying to establish in my PE environment. Um, but it also allowed kids to be able to take time out of physical education when things weren't going quite right for them to be able to chill out connect, go through the series of questions, squeeze the balls or the bean bags to kick out some frustration before they are able to uh, reconnect back into our PE classes. Number six. Number six went to my good mate Evan Godsiff who loves reflection time and I love this one because he really connected that it made his heart smile when his student was able to reflect on their own piece of work in spike ball and understood that their, their skills were improving because at first didn't like spike ball but now I know how to play the game and I'm able to improve from that. So well done Evan, I really love the fact, the way that you connect with your kids, um, and make them reflect the same way you do in your personal life. High five! This number five went to my good friend Nathan Weaver in Sydney, Australia, and Nathan sent this to me in the mail, and it's an incredible, incredible reflection tool where we're able to connect groups through personal um, discussions and personal reflection of ideas using prompts which are at their level of knowledge that they're able to really then share across their learning journey inside a lesson and the great thing about it is everyone might be um, understanding the task at a different way and from these questionings at the different levels the kids are at um, they're able to really give definition into why they're seeing things and understanding things a certain way and interpreting um, the, the learning intents a certain way. So, Nath, I can't wait to actually implement this so much more than I already am in my PE. Thanks, buddy. Number four. Number four, Tanaroos. I reckon this is your second time on this show. Um, the Plagnets. Plagnets are hot. Ladies and gentlemen, I love them so much. Um, and using them in my class with uh, alongside solo taxonomy is really giving such definition and depth to students um, directing their own journey. And really us as teachers being able to be there to help confirm whether the kids are on the right path with the, with the way they see themselves. But also encouraging the kids to get multiple sources of feedback before actually moving themselves along the growth line. These plagnets idea with the magnets already attached to the back just adds on to Mike's and um, and certainly Joey's um, ideas when they were were putting the, the plickers onto the, the boards and then putting the magnets onto the back. So Tanner, really love those. I'm looking out for them down here, down under. Three. Even in the hottest, warmest climates, we have our Winter Olympics going on. And North America, you guys are rocking, and certainly Canada as well, you guys are rocking the activities that are coming out of um, your PE classes. The curling is one of my favorites. I also loved the four-person bobsled, which I saw. Um, amazing stuff. I even saw um, one person with foam noodles um, and a, a child up on top with a plank with um, them being pulled along by a rope, so snowboarding. Um, outstanding resources there from everyone that's been participating in the Winter Olympics. Number two. Cosmic Kids Zen Den, you guys have been a large part of my week this week with my health classes um, when I teach them to junior primary and, 
And mindfulness has been one of those real strong tools that we've been trying to um, help kids through and understand uh, when to use it and how to use it in their everyday lives. But uh, starting our classes and ending our classes with a variety of mindfulness techniques um, have been really helping engage the kids. And, and the Cosmic Kids Zen Den on YouTube, unbelievable. Love them so much. Love that I'm really getting into them. So thank you. Which leaves us with number one for this week. So if you've been following me on Twitter and Facebook this week, you'll see that I've been using high jump um, because we've got athletic sports coming up and a variety of tech tools in high jump. So I put this vision up and and threw a couple of questions out there for people to use, um, to respond with, and so they did. But did I think this was going to happen when the great Dick Fosbury br- tweeted me back gave us some um, tips to be able to use with the kids, not only to improve my teaching, but to also improve the engagement of the child, to know that an Olympic gold medalist from 1968 who created the Fosbury flop over a summer period from being the worst performer in his high school track team to the, the most outstanding performer across the nation gave us such a buzz. So since then, Dick and I have shared a number of um, tweets um, back and forth, and I'm so glad to have met him back in Shape Seattle in 2015 when he was the uh, recipient from Hall of Fame, and now he's part of Leopold Primary School. So thank you very much, Dick, for that, and that has to be my number one. So there we have it, team. Seven unbelievable things happened in this week. In our phys ed career and in our phys ed um, faculty that we're sharing globally across um, so many different countries, it's unbelievable to think that we can actually add value to each other's class. So hopefully you've taken a little bit of what I've shared with you today. Implement it next week. Connect with me on Facebook and Twitter and certainly give me a shout out uh, when you can with what you're doing in your classes. Thanks, guys. See you next time.